The Gene Drive mtRNR1 ID kit is an in vitro molecular assay for use on human buccal cells. To run the Gene Drive mtRNR1 ID kit, you will require the following a Gene Drive system, an optional label printer, and labels. The components of the Gene Drive mtRNR1 ID kit are 1 buccal swab. One sample collection tube containing lysis buffer, one mini vet, an empty RNR1 assay cartridge, and one gene drive cartridge lid. The components must be stored between 2 and 30 degrees Celsius. Each single use kit is designed to perform one test. The expiry date is shown on the kit's label. Expired kits should not be used. Immediately discard any gene drive assay cartridge where the pouch desiccant has turned from a yellow colour to a blue-green colour. Protective gloves must be worn throughout the procedure. Start with a buccal sample collection. Open the gene drive empty RNI1 ID kit and remove the buccal swab pack. For neonates, rub the flat part of the swab across the inner cheek in a forward backward motion for two strokes. Repeat using the other side of the swab on the opposite cheek for a further two strokes. For adults, use a total of 10 strokes on each cheek. Open the gene drive lysis buffer tube. Submerge the buccal swab tip and rotate the swab for 30 seconds to release the buccal cells into the solution. Remove the swab from the tube and discard. Securely replace the buffer tube lid. Switch on the gene drive system. When using a printer, connect it to the USB 2 port of the Gene Drive system. Next, log in to your unique user account using your barcode or institutional access. Click on Prep New Test. Input the data as required, completing all compulsory fields. If an optional printer is connected, print labels. Attach one label to the buffer tube, one to the patient record, and one to the gene drive cartridge lid. Briefly mix the patient's sample by inverting the buffer tube. Next, remove the empty RNR1 ID assay from the foil pouch. Ensure that the dried reagents are located at the base of the middle tube. Remove the strip cap from the assay cartridge. Insert the assay cartridge into the holder assembly of the cartridge lid. Hold the mini-vet in a horizontal, slightly declined position under the wings. The air ventilation hole at the end of the piston should not be covered. Ensure the piston is not pushed down. Collect the sample by placing the tip of the mini-vet under the surface of the sample. Collection is complete when the buffer has reached the filter at the other end of the capillary tip. Ensure any excess liquid is removed by wiping the tip of the mini-vet on the edge of the sample collection tube when removing. Immediately dispense the buffer into the neck of the middle tube only by pressing down the piston on the mini vet. Next, close the cartridge lid assembly and fully depress the plunger until a click is heard, ensuring the clips on both sides are fully engaged and firmly locked. Check the level of liquid is correct. The correct fill level is important. Holding the lid, firmly flick the cartridge downwards to force the sample to the bottom of the middle channel. Leave for at least 60 seconds for the reagents to dissolve and fully reconstitute. If any bubbles are present, tap the tube with a finger flick motion to ensure the bubbles move to the top of the tube. Then place the cartridge into the gene drive system. Push the cartridge firmly into the gene drive system until a click is heard. A beep tone confirms that the cartridge is valid. Press the blue Start Test button on the touchscreen. The test results will be displayed on the Gene Drive system screen. A detected result indicates that an mtRNR1 variant has been detected and the patient is positive for the allele. A not detected result indicates that an mtRNR1 variant has not been detected and the patient is negative for the allele. Test failed indicates that various quality metrics have not been met and the test has failed. 
If a printer is connected, print a result label using the Gene Drive system and label printer and attach to the relevant records. Remove the assay cartridge from the Gene Drive system by pressing down on the side of the cartridge and withdrawing. Dispose of the cartridge as clinical waste material. Once the cartridge is removed, you will see the Prep New Test button on the left and the last test result on the right hand side of the screen. If you log out, you will need to log back in to prepare a new test. To avoid environmental contamination, do not try to open the cartridge lid once the test is complete. A log of previous tests can be searched under the History tab by Test ID, Patient ID or Sample ID for up to 999 results. Tests can be exported via a number of options, including to a secure server, via email, Bluetooth or saved locally. To log out of your user account, press the grey button on the top right hand corner of the screen. To find out more about the Gene Drive system and the MTRNR1 test, visit the website www.genedrive.com.